How you going everyone? Um, just here to explain a concept about how you could potentially use a QR code in your class um, or not even in a class, just in a school in general. Um, it's, it's just a very simple idea where you create a code about a particular thing that you're looking at. So for example, the code could be placed on a book and it could give the person who's holding that book information about um, how good the book is, where it's, you know, further information is available, etc. You could also use it to have like book reviews. So you scan a code and a, a book review is revealed, so it gives information directly about what the people are looking at. So I'll show you how it would potentially work. If you imagine that we're in a library right now, a very fantastic library, and we found a book that we'd like to scan. Um, at the moment you're looking at it and you can't really tell much about the book besides what's inside there, And but I'd like to know a bit more about it. So. If I scanned, looked over the back, and I found a QR code on there, I could actually use my phone. Now, it doesn't have to be an iPhone, certainly doesn't. And you could scan the code, and it would reveal the contents of that particular QR code. Now, you probably can't read that, but it basically just says, fantastic book, great use for illustrations, and an excellent resource for students studying the different types of environments within Victoria. So that would give the person a quick bit of info about the particular book that they are looking at. Now that code doesn't necessarily have to link to a book review. It could link to a video where the students actually verbally explain information about the book. It could also look, um, you know, link to a podcast where you've got someone reading the book. It could link to a website where there's for further information about the particular book. So you start to see an idea about how a simple piece of paper can link to so much more than just that book itself and definitely there's a myriad of uses in not just um, commercial industry in terms of advertising etc but it's also in the classroom and it's such a simple technology and a lot of the students already have the ability to use this and do this with their phones at the moment.